The main problem is the uh, situation in the Baltic Sea because uh, we have environmental problems and we have problems with the nutrition. And, and one of the issues that is important to the care of is the and envir environmental issues regarding the, the, the ship and the ports. Uh, and uh, because there are different regulations between the countries around the Baltic, there's a need for, for uh, a common, uh, common way to take care of, for example, sludge. Today is a different rules and different terms, how the different ports are handling the questions in sludge and waste handling. Our goal in this project is to develop uniform routines screen waste management so the ships always know how to handle different uh, types of, of uh, garbage when they arrive to the port and also to get a uh, uniform routine that's been more or less standardized uh, throughout the entire region in the Baltic Sea. There has been many problems and there still are some problems that we are focusing on to uh, uh, managed to uh, get rid of, but the, the most uh, recent problems have been uh, difficulties with uh, the handling of the sludge as the uh, sludge truck arriving to the ship and uh, nothing's been prepared, uh, thus taking a very long time to fulfill the job and getting the sludge away from the ship as well as these uh, permanent waste locations where the ships could themselves go and uh, get rid of their garbage from the ships. Uh, it was never sorted and uh, everything was put in the same container. The sludge handling was rather expensive for us uh, due to the time that the sludge truck driver had to spend for the connection of the horse. We worked to establish a common routine as suitable as possible for all. I mean, we have to fulfill the requirements for the administration and authorities and the routines also have to fulfill the requirements for the vessels and for the port. So we need good common routines without cause delay or extra costs for the port or for the vessels. Uh, the time factor is one crucial part, uh, especially uh, while you're handling sludge from oil ships as you can't uh, handle sludge at the same time as you handle the cargo. Uh, that means that this can be prepared on the ship and when the sludge cart arrives it only takes a short time for the ship to leave the sludge. Uh, and the ship doesn't have to stay in the jetty just for their own uh, garbage waste. Uh, we have implemented a common routine to have some fixed pipes and, uh, and uh, also to have the vessels involved in our daily work. So we like also to have the routine for our staff to, uh, to know exactly what they are going to do when we are arranging the work in the port. Uh, we have implemented a routine where we take receive garbage in order to the sort handling with the community. I mean, we have households, wood, dangerous, well pup, etc., etc. We are now in the oil harbor where we have a different system for taking care of waste. Uh, we have a permanent station here because we have just one oil jetty, so there is no need to uh, collect uh, the garbage from uh, various ships, it's just from the ships here in the oil jetty. That means that we can take care of more fractions here in the oil harbor. There are about 10, 15 different kind of garbage and waste. This would be a, a great improvement uh, as to the waste management in the Baltic harbor and the Baltic Sea as we get all the new routines and standardizations implemented in all ports and as well on all the ships together with the ship's owner. I think that would be a, a good effort to get all the waste management sorted in advance 
for a more rapid disposal in the harbors. Uh, with this good and new routings, we also have increased the service to the vessels. And service is very important for the ports. The Baltic Master uh, has been a, a real success. Uh, now we need to, uh, to go from words to a concrete action plan. Baltic Sea needs that. And uh, in, this, in, in that work we can use uh, the persons and the ideas and the routines that, has been, uh, uh, that they have worked with in, in this project. So uh, now it's time for, for a real concrete action plan and uh, all the people that live around the Baltic Sea uh, needs to, to uh, feel that, that, it's, uh, that the struggle goes on.